Good morning from Lima, Peru. This is Naomi GP. You're watching The Undercurrents, and we are about to dive into what serving as an athlete representative for the UNA committee looks like. We are now at the sports complex heading to the velodrome so we can give our presentations to the athletes participating at the UNA Cup. Back in the lobby grabbing lunch with some officials. I'm gonna show you guys the food that we are eating. So I just finished all the work that I had to do and I'm gonna go outside and explore. I decided to change my shirt. It's nice and warm and sunny outside, so I'm like, why not wear some yellow? I got this shirt from the Haitian soccer team in Colombia. I had to hustle and do some cool exchanges in order to get the shirt, it's pretty rare. So it's, um, it's a fun one, it represents Haiti, it's bright, it's yellow, so let's go outside and explore. So I got back um, about 30 minutes ago. I am currently in the process of getting ready for the cocktail hour that is happening downstairs. It'll be an opportunity to have some important political conversations with some people in the swim community that are helping invoke change, um, positive progress, which is definitely what we need in this sport. So just getting ready for that. All right, so this is my look, nothing too crazy. So let's go downstairs and enjoy this cocktail hour. All right, it is day two in Peru. I am all dressed and ready to go down to breakfast. I am wearing the official Uana shirt for this meet. 
So that is what I am sporting today. I did bring a change of clothes for my speech. I'll probably wear like something that says um, Haiti has the Olympic rings on it. I always have to think about what my appearance looks like in terms of pictures being taken, social media, whether I'm going to wear makeup or not. I'm not doing that today. So this is, this is she. Um, so yeah, I brought like that change of clothes that's in my bag. I have my accreditation because I can't get on deck without it. Um, so I've got my bag. Let's go get breakfast. All right, it is 7.55. I do not want to miss the bus. So, and I believe one of them is leaving. Ah! Muchas gracias. Oh my God, thank you. Good news, I was able to get on the bus. So this right here is the pool that is being used for the UANA Cup. This is also the facility that was used for the Pan American Games. Standard facility, very nice pool, fast pool, so the athletes should have um, a very great time. And um, I'll give you guys a tour. During the meet, I am in a corner doing work. I'm actually so behind on all the emails and projects and planning that I have to do, so I am taking advantage of this downtime to be productive. Um, I'm glad and proud of myself. I was able to bring a converter for my charger. Super glad I was able to do that. I just received the surveys that I created for the athletes. So we got 500 printed copies of these. We're going to pass these out later today so we can get an idea of what the athlete experience looks like currently, where we can improve, and what we're doing well on. So I'm excited to get these feedbacks. I need to collect all that data, turn it into a report, send it over to the UANA committee so we can start implementing some changes necessary for the overall structure of international swimming. So this is very exciting work that I get to do. <laughs> so we have a group of athletes behind us they are currently filling out the surveys that we wrote so we can get an idea of what their athlete experience looks like once they finish doing that we are going to give our presentation and we're going to open it up for Q&A so we get a chance to engage with the athletes as well so it should be a really good presentation we're looking forward to getting it done we have Naomi Grampier she is an Olympian swimmer she is now very active already in the leadership of her federation as well as Juana. He's actually younger. All right, that's a wrap. How do you feel? Wrap. Good. Uh, my cheeks hurt from smiling too much. How about you? My Spanish has improved a lot. <laughs> yeah. From now on, I'm swimming around it. Nice. All right, so I'm all dressed and ready to go. I'm actually tuned into the She Builds conversation going on right now on Facebook Live. 
Shout out China for facilitating this. She's super dope. Love her. Um, cool. So glad I got to tune into a little bit of that. It was super educational. So if you missed it, definitely worth going to the She Builds Global Initiative on Facebook and watching what you missed. But um, I am all done. I was super productive. I'm super proud of myself. So now it's time to go and explore. So. grabbing lunch at this uh, Peruvian cafe at the museum. I don't speak any Spanish and I don't understand the menu either so I'm having a bit of a tough time like figuring out what to eat. So I just finished talking to the waitress and I basically just guessed. Uh, so I have no idea what I just ordered but hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's like a Peruvian meal uh, and I hope that it fills me up. So I got what I ordered and it looks very good, so I'm excited to try it. Alright, here we go. So I am in the taxi with Alia. We are off to Parque de Olivar, right? and then near Flores. So we're gonna do some exploring together. I'll eat this olive. Oh. And it's gonna be one in ten. If we both say the number, I have to eat it. 
It's not washed. <laughs> All right, what are the odds right. that I eat this olive? There we go. So you have to say a number between one and ten. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. four. <laughs> Aaliyah, no! <laughs> she passes out, guys. She had a good life. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's not even a good one either. <laughs> I didn't even pick a good one. Okay. I think I might die. <laughs> when you bit, like all the locals' faces just turned at you. Like I know they're like stupid <laughs> tourist. <laughs> well, moral of the story: don't play. What are the odds in an Olive Garden? <laughs> when you don't know if it's edible or not. <laughs> Happy dance for gelato! Woo! <laughs> Time to get this terrible olive taste out of my mouth with some gelato. Flores right at sunset. It is beautiful. 